Hello friends and welcome to Vulture's. This is a game between Bhishmanathan Anand and Firdaus of Bhadmi. So Firdaus of Bhadmi is a racing grandmaster and Anand is former champion, former five time world champion. So there are so many history between these two players, but they faced off each other in round 8 of freechess.com Grand Swiss Grand Swiss Isle of Man 2019. and in this match anand beat fedosov in quite convincing way but there are so many chances that fedosov actually missed fedosov was uh, up up in uh, development and of course up in point as you know that uh, the banter bliss is going on right here so fedosov was uh, up in some perspective in some point of the game and then he made uh, some inaccuracy and give anand the chance to clinch this victory so let's see the game as you know that uh, if you talk about the history between anand and fedos of vladimir is that in 2018 in it was in dubai when they faced off each other in the final of world bridge and fedos was beaten by anand so there are so many histories and in this game so e4 c5 the sicilian defense was played Uh, of course by fedosov and knight f6 c6 d4 c takes d and now knight takes d so b6 a very interesting variation and now this knight maneuver of by the un and this knight maneuver is a very typical knight maneuver in this variation and pawn to e6 and knight to c3 and queen backs where normally it belongs but some inaccuracies was happening so now f4 so you can see the bishop on c1 is, is protecting this so you cannot attack because there is this bishop and now the pawn push and after this uh, all the exchanges there are some funny funny pawn position and let's see couple of moves and you can see that this bishop is been attacked and he castle in king side and bishop still not take here and now attacking the bishop and now the bishop takes and this and we have got this position and this is a quite funny position because i never seen in this kind of position in my life and of course i don't know whether they saw it so queen here there and now rook attacking the queen and queen drops back to a6 so that uh, you get don't get anything on c5 because c5 has been protected by this rook and now again a push over to g4 so you can see this pawn positions 1 2 3 4 5 on in front of uh, in front of the queen and the bishop so bishop to c6 and push again attacking the knight and knight drops to a bit to be a square and again push you can see i mean this is kind of like a four point attack of sicilian defense so attack on the rook so rook goes up into f2 and now castle and again the pawn are pushing away and vladimir fedosov actually played uh, something defensive in this position he should have played some attack perspective on the queen side and normally in sicilian defense what happened that you played everything on the king side so d3 and you can see some i mean you will see that some a nice structure will happen in this d e n c file so pawn take pawn take and now queen here so rook was taken and king takes rook so this pawn is now protected over to e6 so now the push and no take so this queen is because of this bishop so you cannot play this because there is a bishop and this bishop can come over this and take this and you can see the attack is still going on by anand and again the push so that nothing going to happen either side otherwise i'm going to take it so anand says well i can push it and now i can take it and now i can take it so who is better i mean both kings are naked but I don't think it's really good because if you cut the board in half there then almost only one pieces of fedosov on the 
right side but Anand has almost two pieces here attacking attacking some beautiful squares of a G and F A H file. So now the bishop comes as I was telling. So bishop is attacking this bishop and at this position the best move is this move but if you run the computer in this position the computer says for Photoshop it is 0.6 for Photoshop it is 0.6 okay and another played in this position the best move which is this uh, h3 move and then this e h move and in this position Photoshop made a typical I would say very very inaccuracy that he was almost up plus one Photoshop was up of plus one and in this position the best move shown by computer is just to take this piece up without any kind of hesitation and in this position if you just exchange pieces then Photoshop is quite good and commentators is also they are telling that uh, just take the bishop because this bishop uh, is really very nasty on e3 he should have taken it and maybe he's naiveling everything so he plays some inaccuracy like this and don't know why that Photoshop normally he is known for his attacking perspective and after this move did so computer says it's about zero i mean triple zero and now comes some beautiful moves by anand and after this anand shows his defensive attacks so this move this is the first move the solid defensive move by anand and right now after this move that computer normally says that just to play d4 okay so in this position actually piece of d4 is a quite fascinating move and although he played this move no he didn't play this in this position he played this move and the best move was just to play this and attacking this attack this okay and even if and this is actually the best move and if i attack then i take and in this position computer says fetus up is quite quite good but he made the move wrong move and uh, played this move and which is typically i would say in this position I mean, this is the semi end game, and this is I would say blunder. And then Anand shows his defense, and he played exactly the computer moves. This and now this, and exactly in this position, computer says that you just move the bishop to this b5 because this bishop is now really very important, just because to attack this from here to here, okay. But he didn't do that. He just. Uh, take this and he should have moved this bishop here but only one moves earlier okay and uh, in this position now computer says that anand is little better anand is 0.4 better 0.4 okay not to one 0.4 and now anand played some really defensive task that uh, moving this but in this position again anand made some mistake that he could have played this move but he might be wondering that if i take this and if i take this then of course my queen got naked here because of course uh, the rook over e file is pretty good and bishop can moves back anywhere so that's the point that's a that's a real danger in this position but uh, what they played they played we cannot normally argue that what was going on in their mind so this moves was played and this is i think quite a beautiful move to see that uh, they actually can they can see these kind of moves of course you are actually negating this this thing i mean undefending this pawn but anand says uh, i'm gonna attack from so many perspectives like i have this attack i have this okay and of course i in a good day i can play this and this and then check check and mate so this is anand position and uh, in this position actually computer says still computer says that uh, you just take on e3 and i don't know why Ferrisop didn't do that Ferrisop still holding this and again i said if you cut the board in half then you can see that anand has much more pieces on the king side but i don't know what this queen is doing here i mean the queen is just like visiting switzerland okay but he played this move and just to protect this thing i don't know why he played but uh, this is after this move and this is actually the real blunder of the match this position and now anand is plus two just before one move anand was not that better and now Anand is plus two 
and after this move and uh, the game is quite easy for anand but of course there are lots of lots of things to do and now we can see this thing and now we can see that they are super protected like by two pieces you can see this and now here comes the rook and anand didn't care about this kind of pawns right here and now the game is quite simple yes you got this but i got this beautiful pass pawn and that's why it was played in this position and again uh, this this beautiful square to d6 been protected and again the square i mean if you talk about let's say play one move okay this and now you're gonna take this and this happen and after this move of course philosoph cannot do anything and he in this in position resign and of course maybe uh, thinking that what he has done i mean he has done terribly move terrible some terrible blunders uh, right in front of the and this is the blunder of the game so hope you like this video and hope you like this uh, beautiful analysis by me so if you really like my content really like this video so leave a like and of course comment if you want uh, something uh, to be added to this analysis and of course they are beautiful players they are strong players they played the game really well but sometimes they missed sometimes they win sometimes they drew so they do everything and again so if you are new to my channel please please subscribe and share this video much more with your friends with your family members with chess players all around on your community and of course again thanks thanks again for watching this video and hope you guys like this and play chess every day because chess is life so for today i would say goodbye and i will meet you in my next video